Hello, hi friends of the Virtual Ninja Show. My name is Heike and today I have two experts with me and I will start with Ayala. Please introduce yourself. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Ayala. I'm a software engineer in MDI team. I'm a part of the team that's responsible to posture detection and response and I'm leading the new Entra Connect Sensor uh, feature. Wonderful, thank you so much. And then Lior. Hello everyone, my name is Lior Shapira. I'm a product manager in MDI, Microsoft Defender for Identity team, also responsible for the new Entra Connect feature for MDI posture and more great uh, features. Yes, so I think this brings actually the first question, why are we here? <laughs> and what is that Entra Connect? So please help us understand. So I'm guessing everyone knows what Entra Connect is, but I'll just quickly review it just to make sure we are all on the same page. So Entra Connect is an on-prem application that integrates Microsoft on-premise Active Directory and Microsoft Entra ID seamlessly. It facilitates single identity and hybrid identity setups, allowing organization to manage both on-premise and cloud resources uh, and apply security policies I actually want to add uh, an example. It will, maybe it will help you uh, understand better what is it. Uh, so let's say that I have a user called Ayala and it exists both on the on-prem Active Directory and in the Entra ID in the cloud. And from some reason, I want to change my password. I'm calling to the IT admin and, and I'm telling him that I want a new password. And he goes to the Active Directory and changes it. And in about uh, one minute, I will be able to authenticate to each resource, regardless uh, if it's in the on-prem or in the cloud, thanks to feature called password synchronization mm -hmm. uh, that keeps password the same in the cloud and in the on-prem active directory. Mm -hmm. So this is one of the main feature of the Entra Connect, and this is something that we all need to, to know. So, and of course, we still have so many enterprises, right, that have an on-prem active directory as well as an Entra ID. Uh, directory and need that kind of synchronization to keep all the users um, synchronized. So before we go into these details, and I'm excited to see them and also the demo, let's step back a little moment again to go to these identities, right? So we have these hybrid identities, and I know identity is always a real attack vector for attackers. So why is it so important to protect them? And maybe you can help me understand this better with a real case a scenario. Yeah, so we see now many organizations that not only using the on-premise uh, Active Directory environment, but also cloud or multiple cloud and hybrid environment. And this identity infrastructure became more complex. And it's important to us, like as a security product, identity security product to protect every identity everywhere. And we're already covering ADFS and ADCS. And today with the new, we have the new Entra Connect sensor. And I can say that in the near uh, future, we will add more coverage into these uh, identity providers. And a real world scenario? Actually, lately we saw a really cool uh, attack uh, of a threat actor called Storm0501. Uh, where we saw that he compromised an hybrid cloud environment. So the attack started as a typical on-prem attack. We saw initial access, reconnaissance, and discovery, spreading the network, and eventually he got a uh, dominance in the domain. And now is the interesting part because we saw him pivot from the on-prem to the cloud. And this is a new stage that we are not uh, regular to see. And he did it using a, an ADDS account. ADDS account is the account uh, that is being created in the process of the installation of the Entra Connect. So when we uh, install the Entra Connect on the server, we actually create a new account in our Active Directory. Uh, its name usually starts with msol underscore, and it's very a uh, powerful account. Uh, he has a uh, high privilege and he can replicate um, DCs. He has write permissions, of course, read permissions. So we need to keep him safe uh, because it's very uh, sensitive account. So of course the attacker uh, knew that and he used uh, this account to pivot from the on-prem to the cloud. So actually we're seeing a lot of this kind of attack and we understand that we need to shift our focus to these areas and as we already started to do with the, with the new sensor. And 
you have to install the new sensor if you have IntraConnect. <laughs> That was my next question. Where do I install it? Okay, so you can download the sensor from the portal, like all the the um, legacy sensor. You're going to the IntraConnect server and just install it in the in the regular way. Okay, cool. So, and then what were all these amazing things that we basically announced or released um, around September timeframe? And I know that, Lior, you wrote a blog about it that we also adding a link to here. Please summarize a little bit. So, a few months ago, we released uh, a new sensor for the EntraConnect server that gives a more coverage into those uh, complex identity environment, hybrid environment. And by installing the sensor, SOC analysts can have more visibility and protection into those complex uh, environment and hybrid attacks. And by that, we can reduce the gap between the on-prem environment and the cloud environment. We've also released uh, a health alert that um, if we as MDI fail to retrieve the data from the sensor, uh, a health alert will be raised that saying that customers should uh, fix the EntraConnect configuration, so us will be able to um, monitor the data and raise security alerts and poster recommendations. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned new detections. So I think detections, aka alerts in the portal, let's go through them and explain the details of it. Okay, perfect. Let's start with the first uh, new security alert, a suspicious interactive logon to the EntraConnect server. So Actually, we're not supposed to see any kind of interactive logon to, to the server. And if we will uh, detect this kind of logon, we will raise an alert. Of course, uh, we will raise this alert only in cases where the EntraConnect server is a standalone and it's not installed on a domain controller. And here we can see how the alert will be shown in the portal. Is there a reason why this alert only triggers when it's a standalone server and not on a domain controller? Are we expecting interactive log-ons? Yeah, because domain controller uh, logins is legit uh, process and it's not uh, something suspicious. Not like the EntraConnect server that there we're not supposed to see any kind of interactive logons because it's okay. only synchronized there. The password has things, for example, between the Entra ID and the Active Directory. Okay, makes sense. Thank you. No, let's go to the next. Okay. <laughs> so next one is suspicious Entra Connect account authentication. The ADDS account is a very uh, sensitive user. Also, this user, we're not supposed to see any kind of authentication originated from servers other than the Entra Connect servers. So also here, if we will see any kind of authentication that it's not originated from the EntraConnect, we will raise an alert. And if it is someone signing into the Connect server, we already have that alert, that previous alert. Yeah. So it's already suspicious. So even if then someone would connect from that EntraConnect server, it means it has signed on to the Connect server, which triggered the previous alert. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's go to the next third one. The third one is suspicious writeback by EntraConnect on a sensitive user. So EntraConnect already prevents writeback for users in privileged groups, but we identify, we as MDI identify more accounts as sensitive, like users with replication permissions. So when we identify a writeback on sensitive user, we will raise an alert. Okay, so there is a difference between writebacks on a normal user and on a sensitive or privileged account that are then more of a suspicious writeback? Okay, so this is suspicious because uh, it's a sensitive user. We want that the customer will know that those sensitive users, that their password was being reset. Uh, that's mm -hmm. why we triggered the security alerts. Ah, okay, got it. Thank you. Okay. So let's move on to the fourth one. Yep. Yeah. So uh, the first one, a uh, user password reset by Entra Connect account. So I'm not sure we talked about password writeback, so I will uh, emphasize what it is. So writeback is the process of write the new password into the Active Directory. If some account's password was being changed in the cloud, mm -hmm. the writeback feature, he is responsible to write the new password in the Active Directory. So if this feature is disabled, We are not supposed to see any kind of password writeback event in our uh, event log. 
So if we will detect any kind of this log in our event log, we will raise an alert because it's not a legit process. Got it. Okay. But only as it's written here when the feature is disabled. Otherwise, when it's enabled, yeah. we expect. But then if it still changes on a sensitive account, the third alert that we just saw before will yeah. kick in. Because, okay. Got it. So those are the four latest detections that we added. Yeah. Um, let's bring them all together in a demo. Yeah. Okay, so this is our environment and we have a user called Airline Banks. Airline Banks has a replication permission. That's why he's a sensitive uh, user in MDI aspect. In a minute, we will see the attacker changes Airline Banks password. The attacker probably knows that Airline Banks has those uh, sensitive permissions of replication and that's why Airline Banks is the chosen uh, account. So let's see the new password that attacker choose. And I remind you that a few seconds after the password is being reset, the new password is going to be synchronized to the active directory. So after the attacker chooses the new password, he or she can uh, log into airline bank's account with the new password, go install your Entra Connect sensor. This is really cool password. <laughs> <laughs> Now, uh, this is the Entra Connect. Here we can see the event log. This is the log of password reset, password writeback. We can see that the writeback was succeeded. We can see who performed the writeback. We can see the victim user, that his password was being reset. And now this is the client machine. This is the machine that the attacker is going to perform the DC sync using airline bank's compromised account. And now he performs the DC sync. And now we're going to see in the portal new incident. The incident uh, contains two security alerts, now only one because now it's only detected the suspicious write back by Enter Connect on a sensitive user. Sensitive user is Aaron Banks. And after uh, we can see the DC sync. Wow. Okay, let's go to the first security alert. We can see that Aaron Banks mm -hmm. got his uh, password written back by user called cloud admin. This is the name of his cloud uh, account. Mm -hmm. We can see here in the evidence that uh, airline banks is a sensitive user. And now we can see uh, we are going back to the incident and we can see the second security alert, the DC sync. Okay, so here we can see again that airline banks, he was the one that performed the DC sync. We can see that he did it uh, from client one and he replicated the uh, DC one. And I think it's very cool that we can see uh, both of the alerts in one incident because it gives us the full story. Uh, we can see the whole uh, attack path and it's really important uh, to our uh, SOC analysts to investigate to have this uh, kind of information. Yes. I mean, I am always a, was always a big fan, obviously, of our incidents that are bringing together the alerts, but how we enrich them. And now, you know, you see, as you said, the attack path and you see the DC or the, the other device and the user and all how it's connected from where to where things happen. Yeah, because until now, they only could see the DC sync. And like, why is airline banks uh, replicate the DC one? But now we get uh, another context. So uh, yeah. it's really cool. So thank you, Ayala, for the great demo. Um, and now I think, Lior, the next part is with you and we are going to talk about how we show customers what kind of security identity settings um, could be improved maybe. Yes. So in addition to the wonderful security alert that the ILR I've just described, we have also released new posture recommendations um, that are already available within uh, Microsoft Security Score within the XDR portal. Um, so we have, in general, uh, three new posture recommendations. Two of them are related to the ADDS connector account and one for the Azure SSO uh, computer account. And the goal is to help customers uh, not only uh, detect and understand the security alert, but also to prevent potential security alert before they happen um, and to minimize the risk for those uh, hybrid uh, attacks. 
And those three alerts, I'm just going over your blog post, is rotate password for Entra Connector account. Right. <laughs> Remove unnecessary replication permission for Entra Connect account and change password for Entra Seamless SSO account configuration. That's right. But there are no security alerts. There are posture recommendations. Yes, sorry, recommendations. Yes. So people, of course, are hopefully all a big fan of Microsoft CQ score and go into the security recommendations. And those three should be new if needed, right? So if someone already has everything configured perfectly secure, these won't show up. Otherwise, right. if you're using um, Entra Connect in this way, you should have um, some new recommendations. And you're working with customers on this with this new connector. Um, how is the feedback? So how is this being operationalized? That's a word I can't say, but it is what it is. Yeah. So we are uh, we have a really good feedback from customers, and we are always happy to hear more. It's very uh, important to us and valuable for us. And I can say that the feedback is also helping us to. Um, to understand which new security uh, posture recommendation we want to focus on and we want to to add in order to to stay more protected and mm -hmm. it's very important to us yeah also uh, we performed a, a focus group with uh, i think something about 20 customers and it was really a good session Yeah. And if one of our CCP customers is watching, of course, um, your feedback is always welcome. Also from other customers, obviously. Um, and just for CCP, they know the channel and they know where to go. And this is not the end, right? So, I mean, you continue to bring additional alerts, additional security recommendations and everything that's needed. And then... Hopefully, I will have you back on the show when we have a few more new announcements to make. Yeah, yeah we stay will. Tuned. <laughs> so for, with that, I would say thank you both very much for being my experts on today's episode. Thanks, everyone, for watching, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.